Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your girl, Sherelle Denise, and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is practicing safe distancing. I hope everybody is being careful, staying safe. You know, this virus is killing a lot more people than was anticipated. So I hope everybody is doing everything they could do to make sure the spread does not increase okay okay <laughs> so my channel is going to be mainly about lifestyle fitness and i will be doing some vlogs if any of you guys want to see what my life is like it's not that exciting but you know i can make it exciting you know just a little bit just don't tell nobody okay cool <sighs> So anyways, the reason why I want to make this channel or start doing more videos is because I was, you know, I'm at home, you know, I'm bored. You feel me? Like, what am I going to do? I lost, I didn't lose my job. I was furloughed from my job at Burlington, you know. So funny story. So I got offered a job and my start date was supposed to be March 20th, which is a Friday. But that Monday... I put in my two weeks at Burlington and I made a video. Check it out. This is all, Last you can put your own little stuff Last up in here. day for years. Ashley. Goodbye, Burlington. Chris it. Oh, I thought she was gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. So anyways, two days after I made that video and two days after I put in my two weeks, my new job told me that, hey, you know, due to, due to this COVID-19 situation, my start date would be pushed back to May 15th, which is two months from the time she had told me. And I was like, so I had I went to work on that Thursday. I went to Burlington on Thursday and I told him like, hey, you know what? I don't wanna I don't want you guys to file my two weeks notice, you know, because I told him the truth. I'm like, hey, my new job said that they were pushing my date, my my start date, and that um it's like for two months. So I'll just stay on. It's a good thing I did that because they told us like, hey, we're closing the store. I was like, what? It was to be expected, so I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to file for unemployment because <laughs> I'm still legally still um, working there. I'm still an employee there, so I can file for unemployment because I just got, you know, laid off, furloughed or whatever. So I was like, cool. I filed for unemployment like five days after that, my last day, because um, I didn't know if I qualified because you know, I was part-time, and, and then I, I didn't get laid off, but the store is closed. And I wasn't officially laid off. Like, they didn't give me, like, no paperwork or anything. So I didn't think I qualified. That's why I waited so long. But then, you know, with the coronavirus and the, all the diseases and people dying and stuff and all, and everything's closing. This is before the lockdown, too. So with everything closing, I'm like, well, maybe, you know, they, they'll reject it because I'm still, you know, an employee there or whatever. But, yeah, so, um, but I, I still filed. And, um, you know, like, watching the news and stuff and then them telling us like who qualifies for unemployment and who doesn't part and then I saw, I saw that part-timers um qualified and even free not freelancers jesus <laughs> self-employed people still qualifies so i'm like hey you know that means i qualify because I, I mean i'm not self-employed but you know i could say that was i'm not i was so five days after my last day at burlington i i applied for unemployment so I said all that to say this, everything works out for, the re for a reason. You know, um, just imagine if I put in my two weeks a week before all this st crazy stuff would have happened, I would have never gotten employment, I don't think, because I left Burlington. Yeah, so, and not even starting a new job, but you know, you're supposed to give me your two weeks, but I was waiting for my background check to clear, and it took like forever to like almost a month. It took them like a week before my start date to, to clear me for the background check. And funny fact, funny fact or fun fact? I don't know. Fun fact, um, the day, the day I got my baby, the day I got her, 
um, my that's when my new job gave me like the not the green light. They gave me the the offer. I don't know what they say. Oh, yeah. Offer letter, an official offer letter. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The same day I got my baby. So, and then the, and then that's when I. I think, I think the next day, cause I got, no, no, two days, because I got this on Saturday. And then that's when that Monday, I went into Burlington super happy. You know what I mean? I went in there like, because I was buying some new clothes for my new job. Because I'm, I'm a receiving associate at Burlington. So, you know, I'm in the back. I'm on, I'm on the floor. I'm just everywhere. You know, but I start in the mornings, like two hours before we open. So, but yeah, um. I was buying some new clothes. I was walking up in there like I was a boss, you know. I was happy. I was like, ooh, I'm putting my two weeks, you know. I'm so done with Burlington. I was, I'm th I was there for four years. I don't know if I mentioned that. I mean, <laughs> I was there for four years as receiving. Funny fact, funny fact, fun fact. When I applied for Burlington, I applied as for a cashier. But they gave me receiving. And prior to Burlington, I haven't worked for like, you know a couple years so i wasn't gonna like be like hey you know hey i didn't i didn't, I didn't apply for receiving i'll for cashier i'm not gonna i wasn't gonna do none of that because you know a job's a job you know and plus and plus with receiving i had my weekends off if you're a cashier you have to work i think every weekend and at night i was off around like one one two o'clock you know but this is part-time so i didn't care i said all that to say this everything happens for a reason oh and if you hear a beep Hopefully you don't. That's just my alarm smoke detector. I don't know how to fix that. And I'm going to try to not put that in this video. But if you do hear it, I apologize. I will try to fix it. I'll try to get a battery for it or something. Because I think that's what you have to do. And um, yeah, I'll just do that and see if I can fix that shit. <laughs> Stuff. Oh my god, I don't want to get taken down for cursing. But no, I think a lot of people curse on here. I'm tripping. Oh my god. Anyways, so that's about it, you guys. I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry. I would take you guys, but um, baby steps, okay? Baby steps. I just want to see how this video turns out, and then if it's if I like it, and I post it, and then I'm gonna be doing some vlogs like the wake up in the morning videos. You know, I mean, you guys can kind of see my room, but you can't. Oh, you guys can't. Jesus Louise. Yeah. Why well, not a thumbnail? Hey guys, so I recently purchased my first MacBook Pro. And she's right here. <laughs> this is my case by the way. I think it's like cute, you know. It's purple. Purple's my favorite color. I don't know if you see like the purple and the blue in it, but yeah, she is gorgeous. Ooh, look at my screensaver. You guys like it? <laughs> it's the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And this one is the high end base model. It's It has the 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage, and all that good jazz. I think that's like the only thing y'all need to know. But yeah, I purchased her with my own money and I also bought this camera that I am currently filming on it's the put this down it's the Sony a6600 boom thing cost me a lot of money but I love her I love her <laughs> and then I got um a lens I got two lenses I got the Sigma hold on. I got the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, okay, there, there she is. Yeah, so there she is. So I got this one. Um, this was my first lens, and then the second lens I got is the 16 millimeter f1.4, and this is the 30 millimeter f1.4. Just for references i also got this belkin hub for like a hundred bucks from best buy oh yeah another thing i got the 30 millimeter lens from best buy and i got my macbook pro from best buy so before the stores closed so i walked in it was like march 
15th or something like that. That's it, I think. Oh, and I got this tripod. It's the Manfrotto Compact Action Tripod. I'm trying to look for the box, but I can't find it. So yeah, I bought all that so I can make videos. The only thing that I'm going to need is a mic for sure. Like, I don't know how this audio sounds, but um, I'm going to have to buy a mic probably like a road mic or something and I'm also gonna might need not now but a ring light or some type of lighting you know this is my first video I'm still new here you know I don't need like soft box lights and shit and stuff I mean not cursing it I don't, know, I don't even have like 100 followers or 100 subscribers yet so what am I talking about but <clears throat> But yeah, so this is just a welcome to my video intro. If you guys have any suggestions on what videos you guys want me to do, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry that I keep looking up. See, I'm new to this camera stuff and the A6600 has the flip up screen. So it's so hard for me to look at the lens and then look at myself. That is so hard, but... You know your girl got it so <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed subscribe right now click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell I always wanted to say that I see a lot of youtubers saying that oh click on the subscribe button and notification bell ding 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 I'm new to this you feel me so you guys can subscribe if you want but yeah, I will be making some content. Hopefully you guys like it. So again, my name is Cheryl Denise and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I should do that. That should be like my my welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel um, thing. Like, hey, I'm Cheryl Denise. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you guys think that's corny or not. Cause I then I won't put it in there. So, boy, this camera makes me look good, <laughs> honey. It's making me look good, child. And this lens, it's making me look like I'm Beyonce or something. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't. Crush me in the comments below, but yeah, this makes me look good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.